And for uh, the last lap now, in view of several unpleasant incidents regarding the management of Football League, especially and specifically the declaration of the National Football League, uh, the NFL as an illegal body by the court. The status of the league management company, that's the LMC, uh, the NFL's successor in title being outside the purview of status of the NFF. The federal government is constrained to withdraw its recognition of the LMC as operator of the Nigerian Professional Football League with immediate effect. This decision has become necessary because of the obvious abbreviation, which is... Uh, with the football set to use or the law of the land, whereby a private company is gifted the mandate to manage or run the league indefinitely without full involvement of leadership by the clubs and void of any process to monitor the progress and development of the game. Sequel to the above, in order to rescue our domestic football from total collapse, the board of the LMC and the LMC as a body would no longer be recognized by the federal government as operators of the Nigerian Professional Football League. Now, to avert a further curse in our domestic football, the NFF is advised to immediately withdraw the license given to the LMC and, in the meantime, set up an entire management committee to include the current chief executive officer and chief operating officer of the LMC to oversee the affairs of the league until a proper professional league board is constituted in accordance with the statute of the NFF. I mean, uh, now, prior to this now, the latest development is that uh, men of the Nigerian police force were seen sealing off, you know, the office of the LMC right there in Maitama, Abuja. We have Monday Thomas sports analysts joining the conversation this morning. Morning. Many thanks, Monday, for being part of the show. Good morning, Mercy. It's a fantastic time to be here, but it's not so fantastic what is happening with the Nigerian Football League. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's high time we get to see our league uh, move forward. And uh, just like we've seen all the climbs, and we love it. So let's quickly get into this, and uh, which was uh, after. Uh, just uh, the later from the LMC uh, stating that uh, there is no cause for alarm. And this is after the federal government that, uh, according to a call ruling from the uh, statement from the federal government to ensure that the league management companies are abolished and uh, they are now being a side that they are not recognized as a body that is uh, controlling football in the country, league football in the country. But for me to start by saying that I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be contradicting anybody if I say that uh, I'm speaking for everyone, but I'm not speaking for anyone. Because in other crimes, like in the English Premier League, football has gone above the government. Football has gone above the interference of the English government. And that's how it should be, because football can be run as a business. And the issues that the LMC and uh, Nigerian League Football is facing are very clear. It's issues of financing, issues of broadcasting, issues of sponsoring, and also issues of poor refereeing. Yes. And I think the LMC are forced, falsely accused of... Uh, being the ones that should carry the burden of all these issues. There should be a synergy between the LMC and the federal government. In other words, so, uh, Thomas, are you saying that there's no court order declaring the LMC an illegitimate or illegal? Are you saying that there's no court order? Is that what you're implying? That is what a lot of people believe. And forgive me if I believe the same thing. Because... There are some arguments that the members of the Ministry of Youth and Sport are just trying to reconstruct the body, maybe come up with a new name and just take off the people who are running football just because they think they're not doing the right job. But I think they are forcefully accused and the burden of uh, fo football not working in the country is rested on their shoulders alone. And this is a blame game the federal government are trying to play. I mean, it's not a time where we should point fingers and say, oh, this particular group were responsible to make football work in the country. 
If they are not doing so, so let's sweep them off and come up with another group. So many people think that there is no court ruling, that these are just, this is, these are just acts perpetrated by members of the Ministry of Youth and Sport in order to just sweep this group of uh, people and create another one. The league was supposed to start, the NPFL, the, uh, the highly exhausted league in the country was supposed to begin on the 23rd of this month. The timing is wrong. I understand that these issues are supposed to be tackled, but the way they are going about it is not the right way. You cannot come and take up a body that has been existing for the past eight seasons or the eight years, and football has been going on, although not in the best possible way, but we still have something. I don't, I'm not saying that we should settle to the poor football we have in the country. We should go further. But for us to go further, the federal government, the government of every respective state, have to work hand in hand with the LMC. Because the LMC will not build stadiums. The LMC will not build facilities. For us to see free-flowing football on a good facility, on a good turf, the LMC will not build this facility. For poor refereeing, the referee, uh, the LMC are not responsible in paying referees. They are just, maybe just responsible in uh, giving these referees the uh, assignments and where they should be in, sh where they should be officiating at a particular match day. The referees have a national body who is responsible in paying them, who is responsible to ensure that these referees are not going about getting bribed. So the LMC are just forcefully accused of football not working in this country. All right, Monday, what I'd like to know from you is um, uh, who set up the LMC? The LMC, according to a statement they released, which the federal government said that they were affronting their, their court order, the LMC have, according to them, they have NSF backing and the FIFA regulation. So these people didn't just come up from nowhere. Once upon a time, they were created and people recognized them. The federal government recognized them. No wonder they were, they were running football for the past eight seasons now. Well, but, but do you think that with all of this is happening now, this would not constitute government interference? Uh, I mean, something that FIFA frowns against. I think FIFA, FIFA frowns against it when uh, government interfere on uh, international, like the Super Eagles. But when it comes to local, local football like this, I think the government have the right to do whatever they want to do. But they shouldn't do it because they can just do it. But they should do it in a way that football should move forward. They should be a synergy so that these two bodies can work. Not when it's not working, one will point a finger to the other and say, you are the ones not making this thing work, so therefore we should get you off and get other persons to run it. So the, the timing is poor. How they are going about it is poor. I understand that football is, is not up to par. Clearly, this is not the... This is, this is not football. This is not how football should be in Nigeria. Even South Africa are doing much better. Not that they have the resources more than us, but they can manage things. They can work hand in hand to ensure football works. But right now, we're just pointing fingers, and uh, the LMC are the ones who are looking like the bad guys here. All right. All right. Um, I mean, it's, it's interesting you mentioned South Africa. I mean, back in the day when the league was run by the NFA, there was no LMC. Um, it wasn't a bad league. The South Africans, upon the end of apartheid, came to Nigeria to meet the NFA to, I'm sure you remember this history, to learn from Nigerians how the league is being run to be able to implement something similar in South Africa. But uh, look at where we are today. Um, uh, b before you go, just a quick word from you on the state of affairs as far as the, as the NFF elections are concerned. Uh, in news broke yesterday that the court in Abuja had um, uh, stopped the election which was meant to hold on September 30. You know, the NFF is part of big play as far as the league is concerned. What happens there affects the, the Nigerian leagues. So what can you say about this? Wow, just when I thought that it's just about 14 days uh, to go for the NFF elections, and uh, I got that news yesterday as well. It's, it's quite sad. But I think they're just trying to reassess the electoral body we assess how the voting is done. And according to that uh, court ruling, 
one of the major uh, major factors that they are uh, trying to ensure is that uh, the voting should be more transparent, that many people should be involved in it, rather than the 44 uh, delegates who are just who have uh, the future of Nigerian football at the palms of their hands. So they're trying to just extend it, making sure the voting is right this time. So the court, bo the, 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 the court body uh, stopping the election, for me, it's good and bad, but it's bad because we have to wait. We have Monday. to wait to see this. Hello. Yeah, so we have to go now. Thank you so much. Okay. We're hoping that we put our acts together and we're able to solve all of this and, you know, we have a great time with the league <laughs> moving forward because we have to move forward. There are a lot of issues for us. The election is waiting for us in 2023. Thank you so much for your time always. All right. It's okay. My time was not enough, but I appreciate it. I understand. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Monday Thomas is a sports analyst, and that's the size of our conversation. Uh, we have to go because we joined the newsroom this morning at 9 o'clock for the world uh, news, you like to say, of the news brief. I am Messi Bopo. Now, if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it will be okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Thanks for your time. My name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning.